when I was a teenager, when they first started playing hip hop in Brooklyn, there's a park about four or five blocks down called Brower Park, and they would come out with the, with the jam. That was the spot to be as a teenager, but I had the strict curfew. That used to be a dry cleaner. Right. Now it's a Haitian church, man. Eglise de Dieu. This room right up top is my bedroom. And my boys would be going to the jam and they would throw little stones on my window and then I would climb out. I would close my window and I would climb out. Like just scale down, boom, and out for the night. This park, you come out here on the weekends and there's nothing but white people and their, and their dogs. You know what I mean? It's like the new Brooklyn. One day I came back from the jam and I looked up and my window was shut. And my mom's noticed that that's not gonna, she shut my, shut my So we <laughs> broke back in, went to see like nothing happened, man. The next morning she came in, tore my ass up, man. Oh, this stoop, man. The stoop is where it happened. Everybody, this is my mom's, 90 years old. So I remember just sitting, watching videos, I'll Be Sure, day and night, came on. And I knew my cousin was working with I'll Be Sure. From that moment on, I just stalked the shit out of him. I'm calling you 95 mother times a day until you either kill me or put me on. We used to sit on this bench right here and talk about when we would be in the music industry, not knowing that that was gonna be real, you know what I mean? But we would just sit there for hours, right here, man, just visualizing you know, what we was gonna do in the, in, in the industry. And it happened, you know what I mean? Finally, like, one day he calls and he's like, yo, my boy just started working in-house in the legal department at Def Jam. And he's looking for somebody to help him out. So I suggested your name. That's how I got in. And there was no turning back since. <laughs>